After a long hiatus, I am back with another edition of the Russell Cage Experience WWE Raw review for July 28th, 2008. And um, Johnny Mac Attack, I am getting ready to uh, respond to your questions that you uh, gave me. I got them over here. Um, possibly make a video after this one, I don't know yet. But anyway, on to what's happening. WWE Raw. Uh, Cena opens up the show, uh, continuing to win me over. Uh, basically comes up said he's, he made a mistake, he's not perfect, uh, basically has to man up. Uh, this brings up Batista, uh, says him and Cena are cool, and then uh, that kind of dwindles quite a bit when the other one says, basically, I can beat you, this, that, and the other. This brings out Shane O'Mac, and he says that Batista versus John Cena will not happen tonight, uh, but that uh, it might happen later on down the road with the new GM that he will announce later this evening, which uh, the suspense and all that was great. Because I was hoping we would see the new general manager at the beginning of the show, but no. It's a mystery. So, but he does, however, say that it will be Cena and Batista uh, versus Kane and JBL. And also, uh, these are matches made by the general manager. Uh, it will also be uh, CM Punk versus the hottest newly signed free agent, apparently, uh, in, in a one-on-one -on -one match. <clears throat> so, that will bring us to our first match. Kelly Kelly versus D'Lo Brown, or Kelly Kelly and D'Lo Brown, I mean, I should say, versus Santino Morella and Beth Phoenix. Santino and Beth picking up the victory here. Santino rolls up Kelly Kelly. What and all that entertaining of a match. There's some good wrestling in it, but it wasn't, um, I guess, an entertaining match when I, I couldn't get into it all that much, so, uh, then we go, uh, to Shane and JBL backstage, JBL basically saying that he should have the next title match, and that Shane McMahon should have the power, not necessarily the GM, to, uh, make that match, so, we'll see, uh, what happens with the new general manager, uh, World Tag Team Championship match. Looks like it's going to be Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, and Jerry the King Lawler against Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase. New. No. And after, at this point, when the new match was made uh, with Jerry Lawler and Michael Cole versus Ted DiBiase and Cody Rhodes, I thought possibly Million Dollar Man was going to be the new general manager because of how, I guess he stacked the odds in the favor of the tag team champions. Well... Um, I'll get on this later. Uh, then we come back from commercial. Mike Adelman is at the announcer's table, which I'm like, oh, God. So, you know, I was disappointed to see Mike Adelman out there. So it's going to be him and King on commentary. Yeah. Uh, and then this brings us to Jamie Noble cutting a promo, saying that he's going to prove that he's intercontinental championship material. Uh, which he challenged Kofi Kingston earlier in today's where he got the next match, Kofi Kingston versus uh, Jamie Noble. Very much a Kofi Kingston, I won't necessarily say a squash, but I mean that's pretty much what it was. Uh, Kofi picking up the victory here. Um, nothing to talk about here. Then JBL comes out and joins Mike Adamley and Jerry Lawler on commentary. And we have our next match, which is CM Punk versus the newly signed free agent, William Regal. Now, you know, I wasn't sure who this was going to be. Um, I really wasn't expecting Regal, but, you know, uh, what can you say? CM Punk get, picked up the victory, but not after getting severely, severely beat by William Regal and... I guess they're just trying to help prove JBL's point that he's a paper champion when it comes to real matches, real challenges that don't have interference or whatever. 
he can almost barely not pull off a victory, you know. So, but Sam Punk picks up the victory here. This was a, was one of the better matches of the night. I'll say that right now. But hey, you know what can you say? Then we have the highlight reel. Um, YJ, YJJ says he's grown up. He's matured and says that he did what he did at HBK. And there's like he's doing it to the fans. Uh, he plays a montage video of some of his past uh, moments in his career and says that, that Y2J is gone and there's a new Y2J and the highlight reel is finished. So and with this he says that he deserves a world title shot, speaking to the new general manager. Then we have Boomer Sooner, Jim Ross, yes, joining Jerry Lawler and Mike Adamley on commentary and good to have King and JR back. I'm glad that they did this tonight. It's good. Um, so this brings us to our next match. Mickey James versus Joey Hull. Mickey's dad is in the audience. Um, she picks up the victory here and then is attacked shortly thereafter by Katie Lee Birchall. And Katie Lee basically is saying that she's doing that for whoever our GM is and that he should pay attention because she deserves the next uh, women's title shot and Paul deserves the next intercontinental title shot. So, uh, we have a uh, Shane Todd Grisham segment, nothing to talk about there. Uh, Crime Time Cena said they want to accompany Cena to the ring because they don't trust Batista all that. Batista walks up and then him and Cena have words. There we go. This sets us up for a tag team match, which was all right. One good, one bad, but it's all right. Uh, Cena and Batista picking up the victory here after Cena hits the FU on Kane. Um, so, and Shane O'Mac comes out and announces a new GM, Mike Attaway. And this completely, right here, ruined the show for me. Um, Mike Adamley, he's not a good placement for commentary, and now he's certainly not going to be a good placement for general manager, because you see when he got on the mic, you know, it, it wasn't all that, it, it didn't have any power behind it, it didn't have any emotion behind it, and um, I'm really disappointed uh, to the buildup that they had for this general manager announcement, and then getting him, so... Um, only good thing that come out of the show was, and this is kind of, you know, maybe even pushing a little with a CM Punk versus William Regal match. Uh, so, overall, not a very exciting role for me, not a very good role for me. Uh, but that's my thoughts on Raw, and I hope you guys are having a great week so far. Hope you guys have a great, had a great weekend. And I will uh, hopefully be making the video for Johnny back here uh, later in response to his questions. If you have any other questions, get them in, and I'll try to get them answered on that video, too. So take it easy, guys.